Hi, my name is Craig Hoppus. I'm the superintendent of the schools for the Astoria School District. Currently, Astoria has four different school buildings. We have a K through two school, which is Astor Elementary. We have a, a grade three through five school, which is Lewis and Clark Elementary. Our middle school has um, three grades in it, grades six through eight, and our high school has um, grades nine through 12, along with an alternative program, which is located at grade school. There's really no other place I wanted to live and raise my family. I returned and chose to teach here, feeling very comfortable that my own children would get a high quality experience and be part of a family and a community that really supported their youth. It's a small town, but it's, um, it's not too small, uh, and you're able to follow the students through their high school and beyond. I'm still friends with a lot of my first students, and. Uh, uh, current students, so that has been the best best part. Well, Astoria's got a really strong sense of community here, and and that that shows itself in the kids. Um, they're great kids. Um, I really like working with them. It's also really unique to be able to teach in this setting, the, the geographic setting of Astoria, with amazing history, and it's got all this nature right next to it. I think Astoria is a unique place to teach because. We're a very small, close-knit community, and I think when um, kids and families move here from other places or larger cities or communities, they're pleasantly surprised by how much we work together and support each other. The whole community, not just within our schools, we always have um, volunteers and community members and parents to support our kids with programs like SMART and Lunch Buddies and um, guest speakers and the Maritime Museums coming in doing presentations and we have the Assistance League coming in to help clothe kids that need it and you know we have families that um, volunteer to adopt other families at Christmas time. It's just um, a pretty amazing place to be because of how everyone um, I think we all we think of it as all of our responsibility to care for these kids in every way, not just the school, but the whole community. So that's pretty amazing. You know, for me, I think uh, the tight knit uh, family of staff um, is uh, something that is unique. I've worked in a couple different districts, and I haven't found anything quite the same as just not just within our building, but um, uh, other buildings in our district. People know each other and, and that's pretty special. A lot of the other things we try to do is our professional learning communities. We have early release every Thursday and our professional learning communities will either meet in a grade level team here at the elementary level or a subject matter team on the secondary level. And the off days that we don't have our building level PLCs, you would meet in a district level PLC things like literacy committees, um, uh, report card committees, we've moved into a standards-based report card. Uh, we also have an RTI committee and a math committee. So there's a wide range of areas to get involved in, and help with our students and their learning. Teaching in Astoria is unlike any place. Our administrators care about us as teachers, as professionals. They care about our families. They care about our health and our well-being. The teaching staff is creative and allowed to bring their own individual flair and personality to the classroom, keeping with current standards and best practices. A lot of my role I see is helping bring what we know in educational research and in best practice to our district and to making sure that we're always moving forward, taking steps to mirror our practice to what we know is best for kids. At no other time in education do we know more about what good instruction looks like than now. And so we have a responsibility to make sure that we are always improving our practice um, and using our information that we get from our assessments and from our students to make sure we're catering our instruction to meet their needs and the needs of all students in our district. I mean, I know it's cliche, but you know, just working with kids, um, you know, that's what kind of gets you up every day. And though some days are tough, uh, usually when you're driving home at night, uh, you know, you think about the the good things that that uh, went on during the day with the kids. And uh, you know, for me, that's it. And being in this school is my just reward for teaching in many different schools in the city of Chicago, where it was a lot harder and it's lovely here.